I think I'm searching for talent every day and every hour of the day. Hi, I'm Andre Dignelli, and this is Heritage Farm South. We're at the halfway point of the Winter Equestrian Festival, and I thought it'd be a great time to open our doors and give you a little sneak peek of what goes on behind the scenes. Mike and I, 10 years ago, decided that we were gonna build a facility within walking distance of the horse show so that we could actively train and produce winners while we were showing. For sure, one of the keys to our success, or my success, is that I, I believe at the core now in my career, I'm a teacher. It's about the 10,000 hours, it's about all the lessons, it's about putting in all the effort so that when we actually go to the ring, we feel prepared. Now as we get more comfortable, I want to see more variation in the rhythm. The sun comes up at about, you know, seven and the show starts at eight, so it was a real challenge for us to feel like we would be properly prepared. We made the decision to illuminate our ring so that we never felt limited. I made a decision early in my career that I was gonna keep my doors open from the talented young rider, you know, getting started on their pony, uh, through the equitation finals and beyond, their first Grand Prix, taking kids to Europe, And in doing so, and, and having a business that run that gamut from start to finish and everywhere in between, I had to rely on a great team. The team that we have in place here, we've been together a very, very long time. Patricia is on 20 plus years. Lena and Dottie are probably 12 plus years. So at this point, we're a family. Some of my greatest success stories have been kids that rode in really great programs, but no one saw that special something in them and they needed someone to believe in them. And that happened here. I think that I often tell my staff that the next great horse or customer or student is right in front of us. They're right at the horse show. We win a lot of championships because of preparation. I think if you do your homework and you're prepared, that's half the battle. And then you go to those championships and you don't lose your cool. That's the next part of that. I think that's what has led me to these years of success. A lot of lessons later and a lot of you know work later, we own this place, which I'm incredibly proud of. For sure, part of my success is that I rode and competed at a high level and continue to ride and I know and I understand the pressures of being in the ring. Some days you give it your all and you don't succeed and to pick yourself up and, and do it again. The balance of a well-rounded life and I will continue to do this as long as I feel that, that joy and love and I feel it now more than ever.